Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and of course this is Mink's Kinks. Hey y'all, I know it's been a hot little minute. First of all, let's talk about the hair. Don't mind this piece right here. I put some gel on it this morning and she, you know, we're not going to talk about it. But yeah, so today y'all, I know it's been a hot little minute, but we're getting into my updated hair care routine, monthly hair routine, regimen situation. Um, so I'm very excited because y'all, if you've been watching my empties videos, I have been absolutely flying through freaking products lately. So I'm excited to go ahead into this round. And if you watch my last, um, monthly hair routine which i'll link that up above somewhere um this is the cycle i'm going to try silicone so it's a lot of silicone heavy heavy products a lot of popular products that the girlies and the guys love so um let's not talk too much because it's going to be it's going to be a, a, a little long video if you know what i'm saying so if you are new here definitely go ahead hit the subscribe button we would love to have you go ahead and join our kinky crew fam and make sure you comment it down below so that i can personally welcome you here but that's enough let's get into it so y'all if you are not new around here i separate my wash days into four separate routines so week one week two week three week four and they all cater to different needs so for week one i go ahead in with stripping shampoo so I have two here that I plan to get into I recently finished a shampoo which if you're curious about what it is go watch that hair routine or my latest empties um, but my more gentle sulfate sh shampoo is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine and y'all I don't know if you guys are able to see it because my lights are bright but there is barely anything left in here and i feel like i have been using this shampoo forever if you're looking for a sulfate shampoo that's going to cleanse your hair but you know still leave some moisture in there and shine like it says on the bottle i highly recommend this this is inexpensive drugstore you could get it anywhere i've never tried the matching conditioner but as for the shampoo it is really really good it lasts you a really long time and personally i highly recommend it i think it's really really good and then since i will be finishing that shampoo soon i figured it was best to go ahead in with a new moisturizing sulfate shampoo so this is from the cream and nature coconut milk line it's the detangling and conditioning shampoo and the matching conditioner so um the shampoo i have tried it before it's maybe about here on the bottle i don't remember it i truly don't um the only thing i remember is how good these products smell so these are gonna be what i go in on a moisturizing sulfate shampoo type of week when i don't need something super super harsh but still need my hair to be cleaned and get all the gunk out i'll be going in with these and then when i need an intensive cleanse y'all a real cleanse if you know what i'm saying i'm going in with the camille rose um black castor oil and chebe shampoo it is a whopping 12 ounces of shampoo so it's gonna take me forever i absolutely love the packaging of this product i love the spout i love the blue i love that you can see the product i like that it's brown because it makes me feel like there's more castor oil than there probably is in it um i did do a review initially on this so i tried this and the match and deep conditioner and baby <laughs> this stripped my hair like it stripped me down to my thoughts if you know what i'm like like the squeaky was not even a word so i want to go in with this shampoo and it claims to be invigorating scalp treatment shampoo um i didn't really feel anything invigorating like a minty sort of thing personally i didn't but maybe after using a shampoo um you know the entire thing maybe i'll get to a point where i realize that maybe it's not a minty feeling but it's i, I don't know so i want to go in with this especially because if you've been following my channel i've been having a lot of breakage towards my edges um so i want to go in with something that is encouraging hair growth throughout this entire routine so you guys will see products like that um, so this will be the shampoo that I go in with. And then I do have this little itty bitty Olaplex number four shampoo. I'm, this has one use left in it and I plan on using this up. My next sulfate harsh cleansing situation. I also have a review on this. Um, so if you're curious to hear my thoughts about this, go check that out. All right, y'all. And so I have a couple conditioners here. So um, this routine I told you guys is going to be very silicone heavy, but I still have a lot of not a lot i still have a couple uses with deep conditioners that um don't have any silicones in them so i want to go in with a silicone free conditioner just to make sure that that is completely rid of silicones when i use silicones i try to use 
all silicones you know across the board or multiple different types of silicones so since those deep conditioners don't have silicones i wanted to go ahead and pull out just a random conditioner that i have in my stash um so that i'll be able to condition my hair because i shampoo condition deep condition so the one i pulled out of my stash is so random it's a little shea moisture conditioner it's the fut fruit fusion coconut water weightless cream rinse um it says it's lightweight hydration for fine wavy curly hair um Ain't nothing about my hair fine and nothing about my hair wavy um so but i don't know i'm very intrigued by the consistency of this conditioner i picked this up for six dollars from tj maxx or marshall's oh it says marshall's on there um and i see these in there absolutely all the time so i wanted to go ahead and pull it out my stash it smells absolutely amazing i have the matching hair mask somewhere in my crazy stash so i wanted to go ahead and pull this out because why not i finished my lash conditioner and i needed something to use up so i'll be i'll be getting into this and then i have two more conditioners y'all i know there's a lot of products in this section the first week is always a ton of products i don't use all of these products by any means but i like to have options if you know what i'm saying but it also teaches me to use up my stash and i feel like that's how i've been flying through wash day products y'all so when I do get to the point that I'm using silicones um, and I don't have a matching conditioner to go with the shampoo, I want to go in here with the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Fortifying Conditioner. I told you guys I'm having breakage and thinning and I need the fortifying. I need that. Yeah. So it says 15 times stronger after one use. It's for weak damage prone hair um, from Carol's Daughter. So y'all, this is what the conditioner looks like. This is 11 ounces, um, and I have a good bit of conditioners, um, deep conditioners. So I wanted to have another one on standby just in case, you know, I need to finish up my conditioners and need another backup silicone conditioner. I went ahead and pulled out the Big Daddy. This is the Carol's Daughter again. This is the Wash Day Delight and the Rose Scent, the Jelly to Cream Conditioner. And I've heard so much stuff about this conditioner, but I haven't pulled it out because it has the silicones in it. And I typically don't use silicones in my products, but I figured now is the perfect time there is it has been used a bit maybe about a fourth of the jar this was one of my products that my friend Gabby gifted me shout out to my Gabby girl thank you so much we love you girl um so I'm really excited to try this this is 20 ounces and like I said about a fourth of it's gone but like that's at least 15 ounces so I have a lot of room to play with this and I'm super super excited because what is a jelly to cream all right y'all and i have two deep conditioners here for um this week the week one so since i'm going in with a more stripping shampoo i like to follow up with very moisturizing deep conditioners so until i finish this up we'll be using this this is the um curls the green collection sea kelp and cucumber hair mask so that is what it looks like and as y'all can see in the bottle I think this is about one use left y'all know I'm very much heavy-handed and this is a very thick product it's only eight ounces and I've been able to get so many freaking uses out of this I have it upside down because if you know you know this product is thick thick like she ain't going nowhere thick like I'm squeezing a bottle ain't nothing ain't nothing moving baby um I like this deep conditioner so so much that I went to Marshall's or TJ Maxx or whatever to go find another one um because this product is now discontinued so I have a backup and I just got to be real selective about when I use it because I absolutely love this deep conditioner and this is one I don't know if it's just me but I've said this multiple times I'm just not necessarily drawn to curls but this made me want to pull out all my curls products because this was that good all right y'all and then i have one deep conditioner for when i get into my silicone weeks and that is the infamous the famous tgin honey miracle hair mask so that's what this one looks like i also picked this one up from i think it's marshall's and it was only 11.99 everybody and their grandma has tried the tgin honey miracle hair mask i know they even have like a newer one in the what is it repair x collection and I have a review on the protein treatment from that collection, but didn't pick up the Honey Miracle hair mask because I had this one in my stash. 
So um, this has been in my stash for a very hot minute and I've never tried it. But I picked it up because all the natural girlies and guys were trying it. But I had never tried it and I still have never tried the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. So I'm very excited to try it. I hope it lives up to the hype. It does have silicones in it. So we'll see if it's worth its price tag. All right, y'all. So next we're getting into week two. And for week two, I like to go in with, honestly... It's usually kind of a hodgepodge. So, so typically I like to go in with a co-wash. And with my co-washes, I usually have some sort of secondary cleanser. So, um, this time around, I'm going in with clay masks. I have so many clay masks. And I feel like I'm just realizing that my hair isn't necessarily a fan of clays. I don't know what it is about clays, but my hair just can't get down with it. So I have two clay masks here that I want to show you guys that hopefully I will have used up by my next empties. The first being from Mayel, the Rice Water Collection. This one's only eight ounces. Um... I wasn't a fan of the rice water collection I mean I just I feel like most of us weren't I feel like most of us feel like that line was rushed um it just didn't hit that's all it just didn't hit but I picked this up when she initially launched it it was like five dollars the same time I bought the leave-in conditioner and I think I got the oil too um so I want to go ahead and with this clay mask honestly clay masks for me have become more like a pre-poo treatment situation detangler kind of thing um, so the Mayo clay wash has got to go because I, I just honestly don't have a use for it. And then the next one that I have is from Urban Hydration. This is from the No Dry Drama Clarify and Moisturize Collection. Um, and this is the Avocado Seed Kaolin Clay Mask. So this is what the product looks like. I know I picked this up from TJ Maxx or Marshalls because that's literally the only place I see Urban Hydration. And honestly, I'm just not overly impressed with Urban Hydration. I have used one product from them on my channel and it was a conditioner. And honestly, I I don't have super high standards for conditioners because I go in with deep conditioners anyway. But that was a conditioner co-wash situation and it was a no for me. It didn't work as a conditioner or a co-wash. Um, I also have a review on that. Y'all, I'm going to be out of cards. <laughs> I'm going to just tell y'all that now. So if you want to hear my thoughts on certain products, just look up Urban Hydration Minx Kinks and it'll come right up. So, um, I don't know. I just don't necessarily have a use for a clay mask. So I wanted to go ahead and try it since I'm going in with a co-wash. It makes my hair just, just slightly more cleaner. So I'm interested to go in with this one. And this one I feel like has been in my stash for a little minute too. Um, so it's just time to use it up. All right, y'all. And next are the co-washes that I have here. So I told you guys we're going to have some silicone-free wash days and we're going to have silicone wash days. And I have a couple um, co-washes here that are obviously silicone-free. The first one here is Cara Care's Cleansing Cream. That's what this one looks like. And my aunt gave me this one, but there is not um, a whole lot left in here. It's like maybe a section of my hair that's left in here. But she said she remembers really liking it and she just wanted me to try it. So she brought me the rest of it so that I will. Um, this will be gone in one wash day. So, of course, I have another one here. This one's from Honey's Handmade. It's Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 1, the Sweet Potato Low Poo Co-Wash. And if you've been following me for a really long time, y'all know that when I first tried this, I absolutely loved it. I love, what was this, the spirulina one. I like that one too, but this was always my favorite co-wash from Honey's Handmade. Um, and this is actually from my mom. My mom actually didn't like it. So it's maybe about halfway gone. Yeah, it's about halfway gone. So I think between... Um, these two i'll be able to get two wash days out of it so i'm excited to revisit this this will be my last time trying this because i no longer purchase from honey's handmade i do have two co-washes in my stash from them which i hope to use up pretty soon because they're only eight ounces so we got silicone free co-washes and then for my co-wash with silicone i am going in with the pantene gold collection deep hydrating co-wash and this is a silicone heavy like the third ingredient or something is silicone um but i've always heard really really good things about it it's 15.2 ounces so i'll be using this for a very 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 long time um and i'm really excited to see how it goes especially since it claims to be deeply hydrating um i want to see how the silicones work and everything so i don't know i'm excited to try this i really really enjoy the pantene gold collection 
um y'all can expect a styling day with that as well because those products have a lot of silicones in them and i haven't done a review with them because of that reason i just don't really use silicones that much so getting into these silicone products a i'm gonna learn a little bit more about my hair and silicones and b i'm gonna get rid of a heck of a lot of products because i just don't reach for my silicone products but i'm super excited to try this i love that it is 15.2 ounces it says on the bottle that it has a low leather and getting into this during the cooler months especially since it says that deeply hydrating i think it's going to be a good thing for me all right y'all so we're going to go ahead and talk about week two deep conditioners so since i'm going in with the co-wash that's something that's still very moisturizing i like to go in with a moisture protein mask so i have two here so the first one i have is the sultanicals hibiscus hair healer and bay b i absolutely love this mask like love it to the point that i would get it in like the liter size once i get through all my products because y'all know but i absolutely will be repurchasing this and y'all there's literally nothing left in this jar like literally i could see the cap but i saved this little bit because i wanted to put this on my scalp when i deep condition with the next mask so i really enjoy this i really like it as a protein moisture mask it definitely leans more towards moisture to me sultanicals has a lot of Ayurveda ayurvedic um ingredients so you don't always feel the strength to be honest but this is a great mask. I really, really like it. And then the next mask that I'm going in with is from Curls Dynasty. This is the Pumpkin Mint Deep Treatment Mask. So that is the, what this product looks like. And that's what the inside looks like. So I have used this one before. I think I've only used this one once or twice. And I think I only have one or two uses out of this. So um, I'm really excited to get into this. I don't remember really loving this mask. But it was also a time where I feel like I was still learning about my hair. I might have not had enough, child. I don't know. So I'm really excited to try this because I feel like this is another mask that um, people really like. These are accessible in Target. So I would love to be able to love this mask. So I'm excited to give it another shot. And since I think that I only have like two max three uses left out of this honestly i really feel like it's only two but i'm excited to give it a try and i'm glad that i have enough where i'll be able to try it multiple times so i'll be able to see my thoughts about it all right y'all and next we're going to go ahead and get into my silicone deep conditioners so the first one that i plan to go in with is from herbal essences it's the honey i'm strong rinse off treatment so that's what this product looks like and i picked this up from big lots a while ago that's what it looks like and y'all can obviously see it moving in there i'm really excited to try this mask because it um is a moisture protein it has honey it claims to be strengthening um it's 7.6 ounces so it's not even eight ounces so there's no reason why i won't fly through this product and honestly that's the goal of this year is to make my way through this stash i have been working very hard to get through it um and this is just a product that i know that i'm probably not going to repurchase unless this like knocks my socks off i don't know um but i don't even re recall seeing this not that i'm looking at her herbal hydration like that but I'm excited to give it a try and see how it works on my hair because I don't think that this was necessarily formulated for yeah and then next we're going into ooh, we're going to another product that I feel like I've had in my stash absolutely forever this is the originals coconut cream restorative conditioner and it's made with 100% coconut milk avocado grapeseed and flaxseed oils it claims to restore vibrancy to dry brittle hair and helps repair damage and breakage so that's what this product looks like and it is a big container as y'all can see this is 15 ounces so um this will work out really well with the co-wash because as y'all see the co-wash is 15 ounces this is 15 ounces i'll probably still have the co-wash considerably longer but this will definitely make a good dent so i'm really excited to try this i um I don't know why I never pulled it out. It's probably the whole silicone thing again because this does have a good bit of silicones. And I actually have the matching leave-in from this collection. So I'm excited to give this line a try. Um, I want to say it was a part of a curl box or something. I might have the oil too. There may be an oil. Um, I feel like this was a part of a curl box at one point And I just had to have it but I never used it. I feel like this has proven just how much of a product junkie I am. 
Okay, y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and get into week three. Since we're going ahead after the co-wash, I want to go in with something that's definitely more cleansing. So the next shampoo that I'm going to go in with is, of course, the Carol's Daughter Rasul Clay Active Living Hair Care Sulfate-Free Shampoo. Um, I have been using this. Um, it's been a, maybe about a year that I've been using this. And honestly, y'all, I don't have that much left. I'm about right here on the bottle. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through this very, very soon. This shampoo is unfortunately discontinued, but I really did like it. The conditioner, not so much, but I really did like the shampoo. So I'm excited to hopefully get this used up here by the end of the year. And then once I finish up that Rasool Clay shampoo from Carol's Daughter, I plan to go in here with these Shea Moisture products. And I re recently... Actually, let me tell you how to line. This is the Kakui Nut and Grapeseed Oils Damage Rehab Conditioner and Shampoo Duo. So, um, during my move, my shampoo bottle popped. So, I put it in this old Honey's Handmade Jar and it works out just the same. As you guys can see, there's not a ton of shampoo left in here. I was just swishing it around. So, it's like right here on the bottle. There's not a ton of shampoo left. Um, I did do a review of these because I knew that I wanted to pull them out soon and I was actually very surprised. So I'm excited to go in with these after I finish up that Carol's Daughter shampoo because again, these have been in my stash forever and it's just time for them to go. This conditioner is a gem though. Love this. All right, so next we have the last of my silicone free deep conditioner and this is just the Maui Moisture um, Volcanic Ash Scalp Care Mask. And y'all, I don't have a lot of this left at all. Um, so that's about how much I have left. Maybe two or three uses left in there. Maybe more, child, because my gauge is always off. But um, this is the mask I'll be getting into. Again, there's a review on this. And then I actually have three different masks here that are loaded with silicones. So the first one that I know for sure that I'll be getting into is from Mix Chicks. This is the Mix Chicks Deep Conditioner, and it claims to moisturize and detangle. So if you haven't caught on, after I go in with a semi-stripping shampoo, it's the same thing. I want to follow up with something that's very moisturizing. So this claims to be moisturizing and detangling. That's what this product look like. looks like. I actually had a friend from college give me this um, some time, 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 time ago. So I think it's time to just go ahead and use this up. I've never tried any products from Mixed Chicks before, so I'm excited to see how it works out on my hair. And... Um, I guess go from there because this is the only mixed chick product I have. Next, I have a product from Canvas Beauty. This is the Full Bloom Infinitely Deep Conditioner. This is, I pulled out because, again, it has silicones, but these are also accessible on Target. So I am very intrigued to see how this is going to work out. And this is a black-owned brand, so we let it see it. That's what the deep conditioner looks like. And, chill. And it is pink. And last but not least, on my moisturizing silicone days, I'm going to go in with the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Ultra Nourishing Hair Mask. And I didn't even notice it had silicones until I went looking for it. But y'all, this mask just smells absolutely delicious. I want to say this is maybe my second or third jar because when I initially went natural, I absolutely was obsessed with this product. It just smells so, so good. It works out so well. Um, I know that Tresses of Alexis really likes this mask too, and it reminded me that I had it in my stash. So, shout out to you, girl. All right, and we finally made it to week four, which is all everywhere okay you hear what i'm saying so i will be going in with a moisturizing shampoo since i am just coming back off of the semi stripping shampoo i go in with a moisturizing shampoo so the moisturizing shampoo that i am currently using is from care care um the curl essence line this is the moisturizing shampoo so y'all that's what this looks like and y'all i actually had this upside down but i wanted to show you guys the packaging and it is literally down to the bottom 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 i will be done with this super super soon y'all know it takes forever to finish up a shampoo and i've finished one in this empties and this will be gone in my next empties so since i have so little left of the care care shampoo i figure it's time to go ahead and pick out a new moisturizing shampoo and I want to go in with the Eden Body Works Hibiscus Honey Curl Hydration Shampoo. So that is what the product looks like. And honestly, I'm pulling this out because it's only 8 ounces. And this is a product I've had in my stash forever. Um, and I have not tried this, this line. It smells absolutely divine. 
okay and this is one of two products that i only have from this line i have a good bit of the eden body works um entire collection and i've never tried anything from this line specifically so i went ahead and pulled this one out because i'm very intrigued to see what this is going to be like and plus it's eight ounces so i'll use it up quick too and then y'all so i will be going in with that shea moisture conditioner this week because this just doesn't have any silicones so i am currently going in with protein mask so when i use a moisturizing shampoo i go in with protein mask because we're trying to balance our hair as much as possible so i am going in with the botanica the mender protein treatment y'all know exactly what this is i really 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 like this um treatment go watch the review and then the last product that i have in this lineup is the matching um cheve and castor oil camille rose deep conditioner this is another protein treatment i just plan to use this one up i don't necessarily remember it and i think i need to use it without the shampoo to really see the effects but yeah, y'all, that is my um, updated hair routine. So that is what I will be getting into this, I guess, fall and winter. I try to do these every like four months or so. So yeah, let's see what I'm able to finish up. I love you guys. Let me know what you're using down below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.